Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back. It's Tuesday morning. Um, another work day. I'm not going to be able to go back out to the woods until uh, this weekend. It's the final weekend of deer gun season. It's turned off fairly cold, so maybe that'll get the rut started. Started and uh, maybe change our luck a little bit. But what I've got here, I'm fixing to up the game a little bit on uh, my uh, knife handle making and uh, log furniture in the future. I bought a uh, stationary bandsaw. It's a nine inch, I guess they call it a nine inch cut. I think there's three and a half inches of space that'll be between the uh, the table I haven't put on yet and uh, the top of that uh, area where the saw blade goes up into the machine. But I got that, so it's going to be a little easier to cut the antlers and uh, trim those up where I need to need that done. And then when I go to, you know, trim up some uh, of that uh, walnut there or any other material that I end up using on some of these knives in the future, um, I'll be able to get it done more efficiently and uh, a little cleaner. And uh, hopefully I can cut down on, on the waste. I need to uh, plan that out a little better because I seem to have to sand off a lot of material because I'm cutting it uh, too big. But, you know, as I'm learning how to do this stuff, um, right now it's just, a, you know, I'll get it figured out and, and get the waste down and, and uh, be able to maximize uh, my materials. Um, and again, I'm kind of in between. I have to kind of look for antlers, and sometimes sometimes I find them at some of the antique stores, and uh, here lately they've had a hefty price placed on them, and I'm not, you know. Gosh, you know, the uh, the suppliers are, are really making it difficult. They, uh, they're getting to where they're really proud of their materials, and I don't know. Uh, I have a bad, you know, if I, myself, if I take down a good buck, I usually end up having a European mount done, so I don't get the, uh, the antlers for that. I just have to depend on uh, finding sheds or just coming across stuff. I have some items left over like this. I may be able to uh, to use that. I've got another another piece or two laying around here. I got to get all that gathered up. Another thing I need to do is get this shop organized. But I think that's a that is a uh, elk antler. But I don't know what the guy was doing. He made a couple of cuts and more or less runt it. So not sure. Not sure. I might find a buoy knife or something to put in, put that handle on, or just uh, sand it down. And I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily look like a a deer antler to be an antler knife, I guess. Anyway, but that's that's what's going on now. Just, I got to. Uh, I'm either going to uh, turn this drill press sideways this way and remove that uh, bench grinder and uh, run that bandsaw this away because you'll have to push through. It'll go through uh, this way, yeah, to make the cuts and stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring the video to a close, but that's kind of what we're doing now, just up in the game. All right, you guys have a great week. Like, share, and subscribe. Catch you on the next video.